So, much like when I was trying to get all three cubes in this state here, I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself in that I was trying to retain the yellow cube and I was scared to use the yellow cube when ultimately to get all three cubes in here I had to commit to using the yellow cube. So what I did yesterday was I committed the orange cube to the exit area. Now what if I was to commit the yellow cube to the exit area, what would that change? Would it change anything? Because I think I pretty much, I think I proved out yesterday that although I was like tantalizingly close to solving it, there was still something which wasn't quite right and swapping the cubes isn't possible. So then we go to the next option of, can we swap the cube I think in the exit area? And this is what I've been thinking about. I don't think sending the red cube to that exit area is going to be the right thing because the red cube still plays such an important and pivotal role in being respawned and using it for other bits and pieces. So the next logical conclusion is we send the yellow cube to the exit area. <laughs> BBC bite size, man, that takes me back to a few years. Okay, so I... but. Sorry, just to sort of break there for a minute. Um, I feel personally, Doctress, that that's quite, it's quite important for me to do that. Because I think it, it provides a much more deeper insight into what I'm thinking. Uh, yikes. I think it provides a much more deeper insight for the viewer as to what I'm thinking and what processes are going through in my head. So... To articulate my thought process like that, I think, is very important. So, um, let's think about what we're going to do here. So, if we want to send the yellow cube over there, I think we're going to need to open up... Yeah, we're going to need to open it up first using that button. So, we need to send a cube over to there first, right? Okay, so we do... Uh, we use yellow cube there... Orange cube, because we don't need to use that. And uh, actually, want the orange cube to point over there. And then what? Then what? Then what? Then what? That pole is too low. That's why. That's why it's. There we go. That's why. This cute guy song in its head. Alright, so. Send the red to the entrance area. With red on the entrance area, we put it on this button. That will open up that side. See, I'm that old. I remember when BBC Bite Size was first a thing. They, it kind of like BBC Bite Size started to do all that sort of thing around the time I was at secondary school. So back in sort of like turn the millennium and just before that. Well, I'm glad. Um, I'm glad you guys appreciate it. Makes me happy. Okay, so. Now we need to set this up to do my points for now, I don't think. Alright, so we set this up, open this area up here. Yeah, so I didn't think that was open then for some reason. I just think if you don't as especially with a game like Portal or any sort of puzzle game, if you don't articulate your thought process, it makes for a very I feel it makes for a very, like, dull and boring kind of watch. I've always... I don't know what I've always tried to, um... I've always tried to be as thorough as I can be when it comes to delivering my thought process and playing puzzles. And also it's a way that it can kind of... I, 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 I kind of see it as well as a way that I can help people, um, other people who 
uh, maybe aren't so good at solving puzzles, maybe like gives them a like insight into what I think to help them to solve puzzles as well. So, all right, so we take yellow over there. I'm gonna save. So, I don't know if I need to, but I'm gonna take this cube out here, bring it back to center. And then I will also now respawn the red, I think, and bring red back to center. Yeah, I see. I I remember when, like I say, when BBC Biosides first started off, it was on at like the dead of the night, and um, you had to like record it. It was it's like set up your VHS and you'd be recording stuff at like one, two o'clock in the morning. That's how sort of, um, excuse me. That's sort of like how long ago it was. Um, okay, what's my next move here? Well, my next move would be to put the cube on that button. So maybe I didn't need to respawn. Maybe I didn't need to do that with red. Instead, we can use this significator. Go on, deferential. You articulate. I articulate. Therefore, I think. That sounds very um, philosophical. Okay, so now we go through here. Okay, so that gives me... That blocks off that. Alright, so... We do that. Now, what did we do? Let me think. I think the next, I think the next step then, thinking about what I did previously, would be orange cube to top area, perhaps. Mm, maybe not. I seem to remember some sort of like I can't remember, you know, some some philosopher some philosopher once said something like I think therefore I am. Uh, I seem to remember that quote from somewhere. Uh, what did I do that for? I have no idea. All right, so um, trying to think here. If we're sending something over to entrance, we want to. I don't know if I saved or not. Let's just resave again. How far am I off finishing? Well, I was one cube off yesterday. I was one cube position off solving yesterday. But the fact that I'd used the wrong cube completely threw the puzzle out of my solve. So I'm trying to. Trying this with a different puzzle combination. I was, like I tried to say at the top of the stream, I was adamant, much like when I got all, when I was trying to get all three cubes in here, that I had to keep hold of yellow. Um, and I, that, I don't necessarily think that's the case. Maybe that's the, the point and the part I'm overlooking. So that's what I'm actually trying to figure out at the moment. Alright, so we've done that. Now we'll pull this cube back through here. So it's here and it's not trapped behind the grating. Uh, sorry, the fizzler. We go through here. We can open up this area here. Okay. You know what else I just realised? Yesterday I was adamant that I needed to get the yellow cube up to top. I need to get a cube up there. I, mean, I was adamant it would need to be the yellow cube so I could respawn and bring it back through, but I don't. 
because that's already in the exit position. That's already in the exit position. Okay. Um, so that's a bit of a different thing to what I thought was going to happen. Um, mm, Alright, so next we'd want to set this up. swap the cubes here. I think we need to put orange in there. I think we need to put orange in there. Yeah, so we put orange in there. We can use that sendificator. To do things and stuff and stuff and things. That was another one of the big problems I had yesterday whereby I'd committed this red cube and I only had the yellow cube and it was like, well, how can I send the yellow, yellow cube without certificating it there and I can't certificate the cube in there? Man, I'm surprised I've still got like a an active functioning brain at this point. No worries, doctors. Alright, so that's set up like that. We need this point to here because this will allow us to open up that bit, something which we did yesterday. Be honest, Mika. I think in the grand in the grand scale of everything, we we know we d we don't know nothing, considering how much knowledge and things there is out there. We can never truly understand anything. Okay, so that would do that. Now this is the part. So. This is the part. I think... I think I know what to do. If I was to... He says he knows what to do. Does he really know what to do? Let me think. If I change that to there, that gives me free reign of the cube. I think what I need is a portal in the entrance area and here with this cube removed. So, if I do... this. Get rid of that cube. Walk through here. Centificate this to the top. I can access that area. I can access that area. I can access that area. Um, have I overlooked anything? No, because I don't have to move cubes now. This is it. This is it. This is it. Um... Um, hold on. No, I don't want to be in here yet. I need to go there. Now here. Press the button. Respawn yellow. Stand on there. Move this. Move this cube to exit. Exit is open. Yellow will respawn. Yellow will raise the platform up. That's it. 
We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I think we're done. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm a little bit panicky. <laughs> we was at this stage yesterday. I think we're there. Siri, all right, I say, look, look. Let me just, hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> so I said that and Siri was like, I know, right? <laughs> oh my God, this is just like, It's just a game. It's just a, it's just it's just a map rector that's consumed my life for like over the last week. This is like day six of live streams on this map, plus all the extra time I have put in like behind the scenes on it as well. You telling me to calm down? Don't you tell me to calm down, boy. <laughs> wow. Um Yeah, I just need to take a minute here. That's just Finally. We have done it. We have finally, finally, finally completed it. My goodness. That is something. That puzzle is something. Also, I'm just changing my settings because I made some changes to my um, stream setup. It seems to be working a bit better, so that's why I'm some adjustments. Everything seems to be running a lot better today. Um, Atom, I know you're not there, but my goodness, you are an absolute beast. Please never make another Sendificator map ever again. And my official verdict is that that is definitely... A 10. For me, at least. My opinion, it's definitely a 10. You was like between 7 and 10 in the description. But no, definitely, definitely, definitely a 10. So, interestingly enough, two of the main sticking points of that map were to get round it were exactly the same thing. And it was me thinking I had to keep hold of the yellow cube. And... That's what kind of steered me down the wrong direction, like multiple times. You'd have thought after like the first attempt, it, I'd have um, I'd have realised, wouldn't you? Yes. So finally, we can move on to something else. I'm sure everybody on YouTube will be happy to see that <laughs> this this video is not just going to be aim. Um, I wonder what we've got next though. Oh, great. A mic map. Fantastic. <laughs> this is probably an 11 out of 10, just to kick me right straight back down again. Um, is it another yikes map? Long time no see. Seriously, I don't think I've ever gone so long without publishing a map. I started doing this, but after a hiatus of over half a year, I have returned with a map that could and frankly should have been done months ago. Nothing excessively new, special or creative, just nice and clean logic. This map may look small and harmless, but the complexity of the solution might surprise you. If you think you did anything unintended, please let me know. Six out of ten. Look. We don't, uh, we don't shy away from maps in the queue anymore. We don't. We we face them head on. Reset the six day countdown now. <laughs> easy, right? That we just walk to the exit. Oh yeah, easy, done. <laughs> what 
What's so, so difficult about that? Come on, guys. Come on. Open door policy, no clip across. Why so difficult? All right, here we go. Hell has a new name, and it is co-cycled by Mike Castro. Go on, Mike. I keep calling him Mike Castro. It should be. I, I still can't train myself to say Mike Stro. I apologize. All right. So. Okay. Working our way backwards into the depths of the map first. Seen this a few times in the past. Right, so we have a reflector cube. Does not auto respawn. And at the moment, we can't utilize because we have no way of hitting a surface behind a fizzler. We have a second cube here, which is a standard weighted cube. And now we can get that out, should we need to. Which, looking at this at the moment, it's our only option here, so... Go and... This. Does this offer us anything? No, I don't believe it does. And we could block the laser receptacle here. However, that will give us a closed door. And also disables this one there, which looks like it is all gated with this button. Okay. Okay, so we can go over there still. We can't bring the cube over here at the moment. So still need to think it around a little. I think for the time being though we will leave the cube the cube over here for now. I don't think we can really do a lot more with it at the moment, but uh, I don't know. If it's one of those that you recently sent uh, crazy, it will be in my list. It just won't have made it across to any queues or my game yet. Okay, so... I guess first objective is going to be. Well, actually, no, we can do something here. We can do something. So, we can take this, lock the laser there, and go back around. Uh, oh, well, it's an oversight, wasn't it? Oh, it's not. Okay, I thought that was an ore gate on the Fizzler. It's not. It's to activate that there. One on both sides. Uh, that design. Yes, there is. So. Okay. Well, I'm not really seeing a lot to do here. I don't think I can. I can't put that. That's too far out of reach. I can't put that on there. So what can we do? What can we do? Well, we could. Uh, oh no, that's glass. I was going to say we could put a portal on there, but we can't. It's glassed off. We 
can only hope, Mika, right? We can only hope. However, I don't know how we're going to get started here. So I would assume, although it's not always good to assume, but I would assume we now want to I was gonna say we probably wanna respawn maybe. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Alright, so I think respawn the laser cube. Having put a portal on there. I can take this through onto this button. Done that, I would now need the laser cube back in here, right? Which is a bit of a problem. Actually, no, it's not a problem. Not a problem. We can do this. While the fizzler is open, that will close the fizzler, but we have portals in play. Okay, so now I've done that, is it possible to see that surface? Oh, we could do it from there, we could do it from there. My cube's not doing anything right, so I could take that cube. Uh, although I can't take that cube. Just go over here a minute, I just want to see what I can see from here. This is the way I get back. But I would need to bring that cube with me. So I think bringing this cube over here so early was the wrong thing to do. Okay, so let me Let's go back a step. With this. that. Okay, so we need to do what again? Right, so we respawn the cube. That's what we did. Right, do that. Respawn laser. A laser on there. Now I need to. Oh, I need to take that through. I did that before. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Respawn laser. Laser is going to do this. The 
this cube will come and sit here. Is that right? Nice juice. This controls that one, so if I was to put No, I think I just need to do that, don't I? Because then that will open. Yeah, that, that will open that one. Okay. Sorry, just trying to backtrack a minute, guys. Apologize. Okay, did laser cube. This sits on the button. Go back again. This wants to sit there. Then we do this. Respawn laser cube again. We then take laser cube into here. Oh, wait a minute. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Rushed ahead and made a mistake. Before I brought that in here. While the port was there, I should have put that in there. So, let me just... I don't like all this sort of like, let's just pretend. I do really, but it doesn't make for a very good uh, flowing video. Or a flow to the solution, sorry, not a video. Okay, so I should in this, this and this. So we have this state, I'll save there just because I think this is, or I believe this is progress. Spawn this. And then before we do that, we bring this cube into here so we can reuse it. And then we do this. Jump into here. Now we can go back to the top area. With our cube, we can then put the cube in that area and get back across to the start. this save because I'm pretty sure that's progress okay so now what will this do so this will allow me to walk over there stretch and a hydrate both at the same time jeez you guys spoil me Where's my thing actually? Hiding in hiding in the background. You guys, you spoil me. Uh Pepsi Max is not on you. We don't drink Pepsi Max at this time of day. <laughs> Pepsi Max is a uh, an evening drink. I don't really drink a lot of pop. It's a bit gassy and blows me up. Although you would think I'm Addicted to Pepsi Max, the amount of Pepsi Max we have in this house, but. It's uh, my wife that drinks the majority of the pop. She sometimes goes for like three or four cans in a single day. <sighs> Guys. Uh, okay, so let's think about what we're going to do next. So. To say by that, so we're gonna have to get into there. Uh, I mean, what does that? That allows us to go over to here like this. The minute we drop down, we don't really have a lot of options here, do we? I'm loving this track, mate. This track is awesome. All there and there will constantly open that fizzler there, which may help us out in the future. 
we get the laser cube here, point it that direction, go through there and there. Allows to walk through. And from there we could probably respawn a cube. Portal there and there. Laser cube onto there. Maybe that's how we get the laser cube. Why would we want to do that? If we had the laser cube here, we wouldn't need to do that, would we? Okay, well. Let's um, run with this for now. Let's go and respawn the laser cube. I feel that's about the only thing that's going to be of use for us at the minute. is very much trapped in play at the moment. Respawn that cube. We would lose pole positions after walk through fizzlers. Yeah, we'd lose pole positions. Because we'd have to walk through the fizzlers. Um, so that would just uh, allow us to pull there and there, but that would take us back to the original state of the puzzle. So I don't really see that that helps us out a great deal. sort of prove that point out if we do this and this put this on here and like I say we're just back to square one so yeah I'm pretty confident that that is not what we need to do it nullified all our process progress Interesting to note as well here. Um, I said about using that one, but I don't. Oh, well, we could. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking how we would use that portal, but we would have to take the cube down there with us and then use the cube to get up to there. So I was just thinking that that portal is pretty irrelevant in the grand scheme of the puzzle, but it's not. So I believe this is progress. So what if the goal here would just be simply to do this cube down here, walk across, respawn the weighted cube. And the aim of that and the purpose of that would be to maintain the portal there. Right. Because that's a new set of portals that we didn't have previously. We can get back onto the top. So this is a new this is a new portal set here. Only I could do this and have the cube, because if I had the cube... I might be able to go down there. You know what, if I had... Right, I 
much. We'll try something. Just want to see what I can get away with here. Like that. Drop that out of there like that. Let's try on the other side. Try on the other side, though. This is why you turn laser collision off. Too precise for self. I'm pretty confident that this isn't what I need to do, but I'm just trying it anyway. Um, I wonder if I could like pull that through because doing that would I wouldn't respawn the cube and laser across there that would be about it <laughs> I beg to differ Mike <laughs> no I, I, I know exactly what you I know exactly what you mean Alright, so if I'd have just done what I did, I would have this as a setup, right? Everybody happy with that. See, this is where I need a cube, though. Is what else can we do? Oh, awesome. I could point over there, but that turns off different bits and pieces, so that would be no good to me. Can't maneuver quicker and quick enough there to. Um, I won't be able to move quick enough there to pick up the cube after respawning it. Unfortunately. So again, that wouldn't be the answer either. Wouldn't be the answer. Maybe we should ask Smarties. Smarties has the answer. Only I could 
move the laser cubes position from here. Gets me back into the central, into the starting area from this position here, but as I've already alluded to, I need to take the cube with me. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Come here, you cube. Would you be so kind and, like, go through the portal, please? Is that boo because it's not a, it's not the intended move, Mike? the intended move, I, I won't do it. I guess that's probably why you put the light strip there, though, isn't it? Yeah, makes sense. That's why it's so difficult to put it through there. I don't know. I used E. I didn't use my long range grab for that. Sure, I didn't. Maybe I'm just a big cheater. Oh, I must have done. Alright, I apologise. Back to the drawing board. Back to the board, there's drawing. The big issue is we can't, because of that fizzler there, it wasn't for that fizzler there, we could respawn the cube, go through. I do feel like the, the next step. It's not really an intermittent step, but. I do feel like the next step is heavily dependent on getting onto that other side. And with cube. Getting a portal on the other surface, onto the left. Portal on this uh, laser panel over here, so that will open up. It'll open up the exit, it will open up this fizzler here. without the need for the laser cube. Laser cube's got to sit there, because it's got to point that way, so to, so to not block the laser, no, not block the cube. And then when all that's done that... See, the, the, big, the big point here is, because of this fizzler here being controlled by that button, it's hard to come from this side and do everything I need to do from there. Because the minute we start routing a laser back through this relay here, that central fizzler is going to turn on again, so we can't shoot a portal from this side over to this side. That's going to prevent us from doing that.
And likewise, it's it's hard for us to keep a portal in position over on that side at the moment. Because we can't see that ceiling from over here. So... The only place we can go through to the other side is here like we did before. We don't see any other pole surfaces from here. So, I'm just wondering, is it is there a way to do this whereby no, we tried it anyway. Let's say, is there a way to do this whereby I have access to the laser cube to take the laser cube over to there? What's going on, uh, per What's going on, Perga Green? Hope you're well. Yeah, is there a way to we can replace these cubes, possibly? So this is... Early game, isn't it? Alright, so... Um, I don't remember how we, what we did here early game. Uh, that's up there. Well, maybe I just respawned that cube. Is that what I did? Possibly. Fall in position, respawn the cube. Aren't you in that at the moment? No, that's not what I did. Kind of what I did, but it wasn't what I did. Yeah. There and there, I think. So I can then take this to... Yeah? Is that what I did? Our weather's been really weird over here. Like, considering it's, like, meant to be... Considering it's meant to be, like, spring, it's been, like, really cold. We've hardly had a spring at all. It's so wet. I think you guys in, uh, in Holland get similar weather to us here in the UK. I guess. Not a million miles away. That's... Uh, there's one in here. 
here. Than say on the uh, the forecast the other day actually for here it's like it's been the while it's been the um, it was the warmest alt warmest April on record it's now been the wettest May is crazy yeah so this isn't going to work because we need this field opening and the only way to achieve that. Is to laser pointing to there. That's not going to be the right thing to do. You're not wrong there, crazy. You're not wrong. All right, there's something we could maybe do. We can't really do this because, 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 because. It's, it's not as big and there's not as many elements, so I'd be very surprised, crazy, if it does. But we don't know. Alright, so what I was thinking there was, if I could have re-aimed... If I could have re-aimed that, we could have potentially shot through a portal at an angle. So this is what I was, this is what I was going for. Something like this... This, where I could hit that through there from this side here, because then that would allow me to go back through here like this. Yeah, CBT will be back tomorrow night. Um, if you want to check out my schedule, as always, uh, it is. Uh, I can never remember my schedule link. Schedule link on Twitch. Uh, which a so it's uh, twitch.tv forward slash not skinny forward slash schedule uh, that's where I try and keep everything up to date um, there is only going to be two evening streams this week and there will not be a stream on Friday lunchtime so we've only got four lunchtime streams this week two evening streams and then we won't be back until lunchtime stream we might have a stream week tuesday but yeah week today might have an evening stream the lunchtime streams won't be back until a week on thursday and we're having um got a few days off um a few days off work it's my daughter's birthday next week so we're going away for a couple of nights so um yeah won't be around for a few days um 
I've just put Final Fantasy on, on the back burner for now. Just because I wanted to honour the community reward. So, the minute we're done with CBT, we'll be going straight back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. So, yeah, this is the sort of thing I was thinking about. But... It wouldn't be possible because we don't have the ability to move the cube positions. So, yeah, that that's not possible. And even if we could rotate the cube, it would turn off the fizzler. Um, it wouldn't. But we need to walk through a closed fizzler first to be able to do that. So. Yeah, that uh, wouldn't be possible, unfortunately. Actually, tell a lie. I'm just thinking, we got what we can walk over here at the moment. So maybe this is an opportunity for us to reset the position of that cube. Uh, no, we haven't finished Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake, Doctorus. Um, we will be back to Final Fantasy VII Remake once we have finished the CBT. Um, we are sort of... We are going into the latter stages of the game, though, with Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's where we're up to at the moment. So, yeah, it's going to get... Um, be exciting soon. I hope. Yeah, so although that would work in theory... Uh, I don't know much how much more CBT we've got to go, to be honest. So this is something different. This is a different setup and scenario right here. I mean, putting the port on there isn't going to help as much, and this just seems to take us back a step. Ah, uh, yes we are. Yeah. The I think we got up to I think we're on the verge of getting the dual portal device. Um I did sort of I did sort of wimp out a bit on the that ball pit thing, but that was just that's just I, I I'm a patient guy, but that was just too much for me. That was just too much. Alright, so I'm thinking uh, let me do it. no clipping. Let me reload the save. Think and leave this in place at the moment. Leave this cube in place and let's see what else we can do over the other side. So do that. Get this through here. Though ultimately we're gonna respawn that so it doesn't make a difference. We could get it out of here, possibly. Cube there. That. I don't 
see how this is any different to the sets that we had before, though. It's the uh, kicker. Yeah, so that just takes us back to the previous state. So, okay, we're um, looking a little bit of a rut at the moment. Don't really know how to proceed here. What else I can do differently. If I fall off the ledge, that's something different. We can walk through to here, but we do that without a cube, so that doesn't help. I don't see a way at the moment to get cube through. I mean, this is what I was sort of saying. If, if I could get the... Um, I don't know if there is or not, to be honest, Doctress. I don't know. Um, the original GLaDOS boss fight in the original was um, a secret ending, so... Can mean something else. In the terms of the uh, the mod, it's uh, the cognitive breakdown tests. So, portal to portal epic edition can't be trusted. The can't be trusted mod. <gasps> See if I okay. So this one I'm trying to get to. If I had the laser cube here. Then I could route the laser through there. So portal again, it all hinge on like a portal there. Portal there, portal there. Laser goes across, we'd hit the laser cube there, we could open this up. With the cube on there to walk across there, we could respawn that. Whereby we could walk through. Because the single cube would be doing both, we could then take the laser cube into here using that portal. Make our way up to here a portal there which would then make that redundant I would open up that then we would put this cube on here, walk across, respawn the cube again. I oh, know we need to leave that there. Put the cube on there, walk across, switch the cubes, laser facing that way. I think we don't necessarily need to do that. We could face the laser this way, as long as we can get back into there. So we could either point the laser there or point the laser there. Pointing it into here may give us a bit of an easier time. We we'll do that, swap the cubes. Um, so yeah, when we're up here, so once we get through here, we just put portal in there, portal on the ceiling, drop through, change the other portal to there. Drop this cube down into there, walk across, pick that cube up, point it in that direction, swap this cube to there. And then we would walk back around again. We would put the portal from there onto there, walk through, swap the portal to there again, and then shoot the portal to there. And we're out. Now actually, once we're in this area, with the cube on there, it doesn't matter anymore. So, ultimately, from my rabblings there, our goal, if we can work out how to get the laser cube out into this area here, then I think we're solved. The chamber is done. That is the, that is the thing that we are um, struggling with. 
And I think once we've worked out how to do that, the rest I can work out. And I think I've just worked out in my head. But it's just getting into here for a start and working out how we do that because we have to have a cube on there and we have to have the laser pointing in that direction. But because of things and stuff and stuff and things, it's not that simple. Shit, Gels just having an evil nightmare in CBT. Some nightmare. <laughs> I'm having a bloody nightmare. Uh, Alright guys, well, I'm going to have to leave it there for today, but I have to say I am really in good spirits that we got aim finished. I think I'm, I, I've am i got a good 60-70% of this puzzle worked out, but I think there's just some little tiny things I need to work on, which if I can work out them, I think the rest will come um, along. Uh, after that but uh, yeah thanks everybody for watching as always i appreciate it i'm going to show a raid to uh death as always who is currently playing maybe 64 the crystal shards on his um 48 month anniversary for um being an affiliate and a partner on twitch so uh, i'll chuck a raid over as always but guys thank you very much for hanging it's uh, been a blast i will see you tomorrow same time same place hopefully but until then i've been knock you've been awesome happy gaming